I've been getting many questions about what is blue chip. Whenever people talk to me, right, and they ask me, Peter, you know, how do I invest in the stock market? Sometimes the easiest thing to tell them is that, you know what, just go and take a look at some blue chips, invest in it because, um, yeah, it's safe. I believe many people actually tell you that before. But the question is, what are blue chip stocks? Where do you find them? What are the companies that are considered blue chip in Malaysia, right? And this is a question that I wish that everyone will know. So here we have, let us look at blue chip stocks in Malaysia. When we talk about blue chip stocks, I want to ask you guys one thing. How many of you all heard of this term blue chip stock before, but you are actually not too clear what are all the companies that consist of this blue chip stock. So what is blue chip stock? If you look at blue chips, right? Apparently blue chips is the highest value chip when it comes to a poker game or in a casino, the most expensive chip. They say that blue chip is basically the most expensive one. And that's why it's called blue chip stock. And yes, precisely that is what is it in the stock market. Blue chip stocks are basically the companies that are largest in a country. Every country have their own blue chip stock because every stock market is different. There's NYSE, New York Stock Exchange. They have their blue chip stock. We have Malaysia, KLSE, KL Stock Exchange. We have our blue chip stock. Blue chip stocks simply mean one thing, the largest company by market capitalization. And usually these companies have existed for a long time. Perhaps perhaps 10 years, 20 years, some even 30 years. Like uh, we have some companies here that were listed at the moment Busa was started really and until now they're still there. For example, Public Bank is one of the longest listed company on Bursa Malaysia. So these are blue chip stocks. And blue chip stocks has a few different characteristics. Number one, being the largest by weighted average. They have the largest market cap generally and generally is above 10 billion. Basically, the idea of market cap is what the market things this stock is worth. So these companies are also very often listed in KL CI Component Index, which is actually the weighted average of the 30 largest company in Malaysia. So number one characteristic being very big. Number two characteristic, long, long, yes, long. It's a historically, they have a long period existing. Why being long historically means something is because throughout all the markets ups and downs, over the last 20 years, we've gone through at least two or three recessions. They have survived. So this kind of company are blue chip. Why is it important because past history is extremely important, right? Would you want to bet on someone that you know over the last 20 years, every single economic crisis, they have survived and thrived and did well? Or you rather bet on a new guy who come on the block and say, hey, I'm very good, you know, I'm very big. But you look at his past 20 years, no history, you don't know where to find, you don't know what he did before. That is where blue chip stocks have this thing, long history. And the third characteristic of a blue chip stock is usually this, dividend. They need to be able to give dividend. Why? dividend is important because money in your pocket is better than money in the stock market ma. True or not? Think about it this way. If today you buy a stock and every year they give you some money back out of the money that they are earning, out of the profit that they earn, isn't it good? At least the money go back into your pocket first. If not, they retain it in the company, later market up and down, the value will up and down together with it. So that's the whole idea. But again, when we talk about dividend, there are also parts that you need to take a look out at. But generally, dividend giving is one thing that happens in the blue chip stock and usually this dividend should be at a growing rate every year so when you talk about blue chip stocks there needs to be three criteria number one very big market capitalization usually above 10 billion number two long history at least 10 years to 20 years the third one is dividend giving means yearly they would give dividend and every year that dividend would grow 